Hey guys, so it is 11 o'clock on May the 5th, and you guys are probably like, Lauren, where are you? I got a new car. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I didn't get a new car. This is just my um, rental car that I have for the next however many days that it takes for them to fix my car, so I brought that in this morning at 10 and it's 11 o'clock now so that's how fast it was literally I dropped off my car that took like 10 minutes it was monsooning outside not the greatest time um, and then the car rental thing probably took like maybe 15 20 minutes um, so came back to the apartment got my stuff got my lots of um, and we are going to go deadlift. So this is a Chrysler 200, I think they said. It has push to start, and it's literally like the nicest car. But I will say, honestly, I love my, I don't even know where I put the keys. It's weird because I don't have to like have the key in the thing, so I just, I literally just lost my keys. Um, but this is the, the basic little key thing. So it has like all the regular buttons on it, but the stereo system in this is like not that great. Like it's pretty good, but my car is actually better. I think the miles per gallon in my car is better too. This car feels so smooth on the road. Like the Towson roads are just, they're just, it's just nonsense when you drive around here. I'm surprised they don't get a flat tire every single day. Um, but you can't even like feel it when I'm sitting in this car. And uh, it has a really weird like gear shift thing. It's got cruise control, but my car is cruise control too. I don't know, but it just, it just looks very cool. Like it's just a very, very nice car. And this is standard. So my insurance covers, I think it's like $30 a day with a $900 maximum. So they were like, yeah, we could get you another one. That would be just $4 more, but it's a bigger car. And I don't like big cars because I just can't park them. They're just not fun to drive. After driving my mom's huge SUV, just not a thing. So I ordered NMDs like a hot minute ago when they finally restocked on the site. And they finally came in and they're so pretty. So this is like the white and cream combination. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there is a little bit of a difference. And the pattern on the shoe is kind of like a cream and white thread um, with the little regular bottom. So. I'm so happy. I haven't tried them on yet. Hopefully they fit perfectly, but I just, I needed a pair of like white or cream shoes and now I finally have some. Hello my friends. So I have like a lot of pre-recorded videos. So I thought that for today's video, so I have like a lot of pre-recorded videos. So I thought that for today's video, I would give you guys an update on what's been going on, what my plans are moving forward, what I plan on doing this summer and I'm going to show you guys some training footage from last week. So I squatted and I deadlifted. If you guys follow me on my Instagram, I do always like post um, whatever my lifting was that week. So you guys get to see it like a week in advance um, than everyone else. My Instagram is just at Law and Was. But that week I did my 5x5 five five for squats. So I just did 135, 5 sets of 5. And then I also deadlifted. So... I did 185, three sets of three. But I also asked you guys to ask me some questions on Snapchat and on my Instagram. So I thought we would talk through that as you guys watch the footage as well, because I don't think I've done a Q&A in a hot minute. So the first question is from Easy Plod, Easy Plod, Easy Plod on uh, Snapchat. And they said, do you do much cardio? I'm not sure if you answered this yet or not. Um, I actually don't do any cardio at all <laughs> at the moment. Um, I want to start incorporating it again probably in like a month or two. Not positive, but right now I literally don't do any. It's just because I don't know how to just do a normal amount of cardio. Like it's either like I'm doing hit cardio and stuff all the time or I'm doing absolutely nothing. So I want to slowly just bring back maybe like, um, steady state cardio... Uh, I don't know. Probably not running, though. We have a question from Simone Minor, and they said, How do you stay organized? Um, you find time to work out, go to school, study, hang out with friends, watch shows, and more. I think because my mom, she's a professional organizer, so the way that I was raised, I've always been pretty organized. But um, 
I know it seems like I'm like good to go all the time, but I like, I physically cannot deal with stress. Like I don't know how, and I have really, really bad coping mechanisms for it. Um, so I'm just like stressed all the time, but the best way that I try and stay organized because I know I'm gonna end up stressed anyways, is I tend to make a list for the day. So I'll like write down what I need to do that day. I always prioritize school, the gym, and then friends. So that's like my little ladder of things that I do. Um, and the my friends are at the bottom, number one, because I tend to just hang out with friends on the weekends. Um, I usually go out every single Thursday, so that's like when I see my friends, and then I also see my friends at the gym. So during the week, I don't really have time to be hanging out with people, and I also don't want to because I'm so focused on school, and after going through the entire day, I just can't have any more contact with another human being, or I will literally explode. Like, I'm so introverted to the point where, like, I, I'm just, like, done. After having like three classes in a row, I just can't talk to people anymore. Like I just don't have the mental capacity to deal with it. So I kind of put um, friends on like the bottom of the ladder, but I do use like Snapchat and like Twitter and like I send people memes and tag people in memes. So that's like my communication throughout the week. Um, and then I'll hang out with them when I actually have time. And then school is obviously like my top priority. The gym used to be my top priority. So if you're wondering like how you keep the gym as a priority while dealing with school, focus on your schoolwork, but have a designated time for the gym. So every single day I go to the gym at a specific time. And it's usually based around who else is gonna be at the gym because I don't like to work out by myself if I don't have to in Towson. Um, so I like prioritize like, okay, so I have my class. After my class, I'm gonna go to the gym. Then after that, I'm gonna go to my class. So I just fit the gym in. So my parents are on the way to the apartment now and I thought we would answer some more questions. So we got one on the Instagram from um, I'm underscore C underscore. And she said, are you dating anyone? Okay, you guys. I think this is like my number one most like frequently asked personal question and the answer is no. I like, I don't know, I just, I don't date people. Like I talk to guys all the time, I'm friends with so many guys, like the majority of my friend group is now guys and I blame the gym for that, but I really really like this one person and I'm like do I want to keep being friends? Do I want to try and make this a thing? Because I don't like to complicate things and like he is the like funniest sweetest person I've ever met and I'm just like you know we're doing really great as friends. I don't know if I should make this more complicated than it needs to be. We have a question from Anna underscore 16. They said what's the best protein shake to take and how should I plan out my workouts since I mostly work on legs the majority of the time. So I play videos on workout splits so if you like type in my name and then like program or split after it I'm sure those videos will pop up because I've tagged them that way. Um, and best protein shake, I am lactose intolerant and I can't have any whey protein. It makes me so sick. I can't even have the isolate version of it. Um, but when I did have protein powder before I was like super lactose intolerant, I really like the PE Science protein powders. The um, Snickerdoodle one is really really good and so is the uh, Blondie. It's like something Blondie. Those two are amazing and then EVL has some really good ones too. Their birthday cake and their cookies and cream actually taste amazing um, if you do like protein shakes. So that's to answer that. We have a question from Morgan and they said, will you ever compete? I do want to do a powerlifting competition. I would never do a uh, bikini like bodybuilding competition or anything like that because it just doesn't interest me. I'm going to be in London all of June and I want to have enough time to do like a meet prep um, just to like get my lifting together. So I'll give you guys more details on that but I do want to do a meet um, and I'll let you guys know if I do one because I'm sure I'll do an entire series dedicated to it because that's just what we do here on YouTube. And then we also have another question from her and she said, where's your favorite place for workout clothes? Definitely Lululemon. I have so many more questions, but it's actually just really dark outside now. So I don't want the lighting to just get like meh because the quality is just not going to be great. 
So if you guys have any more questions, you can always leave them in the comments. You can DM me on Instagram. It's like a 95% chance that I won't respond, but you can try and DM me anyways. But if you do ask me any questions on Snapchat, I tend to respond to all of those. So if you have any other questions, feel free to send them my way. Please let me know some places that I should go to while I'm in the UK because I literally don't have a game plan. But that's going to be it. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!